Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day 11 of Quranic contemplations. Many of us give da'wah to people in our family, our friends, work colleagues, and sometimes we give da'wah for a day, or a week, or maybe a month. When do you give up? If the person's not listening, when would you give up? You tell your children to pray salah, they don't pray. You tell them to fast, they don't fast. Do you give up immediately? Let's look at the story of Nuh alayhi salam. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Qalu ya Nuh qad jadaltana fa akthar tajidalana fa'tina bima ta'iduna. فَأْتِنَا بِمَا تَعِيدُنَا إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِحِينَ The people said, O oh Nuh, you have argued with us, and you have increased your argumentation. فَأْتِنَا بِمَا تَعِيدُنَا Bring which you promised to us, i.e. the punishment, إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِحِينَ If you are from those who are truthful. So this is a... Uh, a verse from Surah Hud, the story of Nuh alayhi salam, many of you will know that Nuh alayhi salam kept telling his people, come to Allah, worship Allah. He told them in different ways, in the morning, in the evening, in the night, different times. But Nuh alayhi salam, he didn't give up for 950 years. That answers the question I said at the start, when do you give up? Nuh alayhi salam gave da'wah for 950 years, we will not live that long more than our lifetimes. Let's look at the story of the Prophet ﷺ in Ta'if. When the Prophet ﷺ, he went to invite the chieftains of Ta'if, he gave them da'wah, but they replied with a harsh reply. They pelted him with stones and they threw him out. An angel immediately came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, we heard what you told the people and how they responded to you. With me is an angel of the mountain. Now we all know what the Prophet Sallallahu said, but let's go back to the story again. The Prophet Sallallahu said, No, do not punish these people, for may Allah bring from their progeny people who will worship Him alone. Look at the words of the Prophet Sallallahu that for Allah He may bring people from their progeny who will worship Him alone, which does not mean tomorrow they may worship, next week or next month or in a year's time, but their children's children may worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. <clears throat> this was the patience of the prophets. They gave people a chance to stay on the deen. Many of us will know, especially from India, Pakistan, that a man from Ta'if called Muhammad bin Qasim, he brought Islam to India. India, which was one big country then, included Pakistan, Bangladesh. So it's very important we remember this story. If it wasn't for Muhammad bin Qasim from Taif, many of us from India, Pakistan may not be Muslim today. So it's very important with our children, with our spouse, we are patient, we are firm. We keep reminding them softly and gently and we don't give up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to give da'wah correctly and patiently. Ameen.